coldest right now, I'd say, <laughs> right now outside. Um, but it's going to warm up and it's going to be really sunny. So make sure that you wear your sunscreen because even though it's winter, you can still get burnt out here, which I tend to forget and I'm extremely pale. So I like to remind our viewers to wear their sunscreen. So Jesse, how are you this morning? Good. How are you, Lauren? I am great. I am great. So can you tell me a little bit about the Breckenridge Bucks? Yes, the Breckenridge Bucks, we are a junior hockey team. We're based out of Stephen C. West Ice Arena. We play in the Rocky Mountain Junior Hockey League. Our players are between the age of 15 to 20, and the next goal for our guys is to try to get to college hockey. Cool. So is there anything exciting coming up or anything exciting going on with the team right now? Yeah, we're uh, getting towards the end of our regular season. We have about eight regular season games left, so uh, you know we're coming towards the end here. But uh, we're gearing up for playoffs, so that's, uh, that's our main focus is uh, try to win playoffs because if we win the playoff championship, then we get to go to the national tournament. That's awesome. The nat where's the national tournament? Uh, the national tournament, well, uh, they haven't determined exactly where, but we're hoping it's going to be in Denver so we don't have that <laughs> too far to go. But in the yeah. past, it's been in Boston. So, um, you know, it's uh, from all the leagues from all around the country. Each playoff champion goes to the national tournament and uh, get to compete on, on a pretty high high stage, high level. Cool. That's really exciting. Yeah. So have any? So you said the next goal is to kind of move up. Has any of the team, have any of the players done that? Yeah, yeah. We moved a couple guys on to a couple higher junior leagues, and uh, we got some colleges already calling right now, so they're get, getting ready to recruit for, you know, their season next year. So we'll see what happens. But, you know, the big stage is that uh, national tournament, so if we can get there and, and really compete hard and play hard, and we'll see if some of our guys can get a college spot. Yeah. So what's been the most exciting thing for you personally, being the head coach, and the season's coming to an end. So yeah. what are some of the big obstacles that you've, well, or some exciting things that have happened? Just, just watching the guys grow from the first day. You know, we started back in October, and a lot of our players have improved, both on and off the ice. You know, a lot of them have grown up as, as men, too. So, you know, sometimes you're not just a coach. You're a dad, or you're a <laughs> friend, or, you know, you're whatever you have to be sometimes. You know, sometimes you got to hug the guys. Sometimes you got to yell at the guys. So. <laughs> It's just fun watching the guys grow, um, both both on and off the ice, and uh, it, it's been fun for me as a coach uh, seeing a lot of these players improve. Yeah, so you're mentioning on and off the ice. Obviously, on the ice, they're playing hockey. What kinds of things are they doing off the ice? Uh, we're, we're helping out in the community. Uh, like last weekend, uh, there was a pond hockey tournament up in Keystone, and our guys went there on Sunday. And after our games, you know, they were they played Friday, Saturday night, played real hard, uh, you know, in, in both nights, and then they, they gave back to the community. They actually were scorekeepers oh, on cool. Sunday at the at the Pond Hockey Tournament, and they, they just had a blast. So just little things like that, going to the schools, going to the hospital, um, just helping out with the community, giving back to our fans, and that's a big part of our guys, again, growing up and, and yeah. you know, just, just becoming individuals. That is, I like how you said it's almost like being a dad, where when you said that you're getting calls from college, I was thinking, like, that's a, that's kind of like a dad thing to say, like, yep. the boys are getting calls from college. Right. And <laughs> <laughs> They're moving on, I'm getting older, you know, so... But no, it's it's a lot of fun, and uh, and our guys, we have a great great group of guys, and uh, I don't have anything bad to say about any of them. They they they're having fun, they're working hard, and I'm very proud of them. Yeah, and the games are really fun. <laughs> the games have been fun. Yeah, we had a brawl uh, on Saturday against Aspen. You know, it was uh, it was a tough tough battle, but uh, you know the games have been fun, and uh, like I said, we got eight more regular season games, so we got to still focus on uh, you know just finishing hard for the regular season, and then going to the playoffs focused, and uh, hopefully we win some games. Great. Well, if somebody wants to find out more information about these games or get some, or find out how to get tickets, how can they find out more? It's right on our website, BreckenridgeBucks.com. It's the best spot to go. It has our schedule, it has our roster, all the information on all our players, and you can buy tickets on there. Uh, and I think we're having 70s night this weekend. Ooh. So if you wear a 70s outfit this weekend, uh, you get in for half price. So I know Mary's got a bunch of 70s uh, <laughs> apparel in her closet. So if you need to borrow anything, just you know, give her a call. Yeah. Find Mary from TV8. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, Jesse, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah. I'm glad that this music is playing. Keep yeah. us a little bit warm out here. <laughs> Thanks for watching Summit Sunrise. We're going to take a short break, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back.